Not everyone can be a Rhodes Scholar, become a governor, or win an Oscar. Not everyone can graduate with one major and three minors in four years. Not everyone can attend Idaho's top college for career placement, or has a professor who's still there for you long after graduation. Not everyone thinks about going here, but maybe you're not everyone. Hi everyone, Jeff and Crystal Taylor here. We're looking forward to the first ever virtual gala on March 5th. We have so many great memories at the college. Crystal and I got married there. I graduated in 1982, and I currently have the honor and pleasure of serving as the chair of the board of directors. The students, the faculty, the leadership today are all so fantastic. And the college continues to accomplish so many great things. We look forward to supporting the gala again this year. Our hope is that you will do the same. I promise you it will be a night that you won't forget. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, we look forward to your support. Thank you and go Yotes. D.B. Fitzpatrick, a Boise-based registered asset management firm for more than 35 years, is a proud sponsor. More information can be found online at dbfitzpatrick.com. I'm forever grateful of this place. I mean, never did I think that I would go 25 minutes away from home and feel so far away. And that's, and that's a good thing for sure. Um, it allowed me to grow on my own and I'm grateful for that. But I just want to thank everybody that was along the journey. I mean, I've had two great head coaches and nine great <laughs> assistant coaches throughout my uh, four years. And then all the teachers that I encountered um, I just, I can remember everyone helping me in some sort of way throughout my years and 
And then community is a huge thing here, and I've felt that love since I've been here. And like I mentioned earlier, I feel like I have 20 extra moms and dads, and that's super cool. They've watched me grow up. I, people talk about going from it from being 14 to 18, now you're an adult, but I feel like those next four years or five years, however long it, you're at college, is really when you start to mature. And um, it took me a while, but <laughs> I'm super grateful that people were patient with me and just gave me the, every opportunity to do right by them. And like I said, I can't thank anybody enough, and it's been a great four years. Just looking at the positive aspect of things is really what the college has allowed me to do. And like I said, I'm grateful for everything that I've learned in these four years here. I'm a citizen of Nigeria, but I'm a permanent resident in South Africa. When the pandemic hit, they locked down. So I could not go to my family because I'm not a citizen of South Africa. I was literally stranded here. There's, there's not much option for me and several of my friends. What do we do? Um, and in that little tiny, like, glimmer of despair, you know, the school says, hey guys, we'll, we'll take care of you. We'll, we'll take care of you, you know, and, and it's going to cost us. The school usually isn't supposed to be having a bunch of students over the summer. The pandemic is hitting everyone, but the school said, we'll take care of you. They, they're not obligated. Most other schools did not. There was no hope until a Yod hero came. It, it's cliche. It's like the superhero movie where he comes down and saves you as you're about to drown or whatever and and that's literally what happens <laughs> the beginning of summer was was scary and then it wasn't <laughs> Mitchell, they call it. It's all about the leg strength of Kyle Mitchell. No timeouts. From the right hash mark for the win. Jacob Torres, good snap, spot, kick. If it's got the leg, the kick is good. The Coyotes win. Kyle Mitchell has won it from 58 yards. at 6-0 and have a two-game lead in the Frontier Conference. Kyle Mitchell with the dagger, the walk-off, 58-yard field goal, and the Yotes win 16-14. Unbelievable! Ivory Williams with the deflection, it ends up in the hand. Oh, they threw off the offensive pass. Boy, I hope we get another look at that because it happened so quick, I'm not sure what I saw. 
Holy smoke. I'm not sure Colby knows what he saw. Nobody got a body on for O'Neal. And I jump here it comes. Kaboom. Boom. Pagan for Gwyn. Back to Pagan. And a fitting way to end it. Ashley Pagan with the kill. And the Oats win. The order for College of Idaho, and she pounds that ball high and deep into left field. If it's fair, it's gone. It's gone! A home run off of the bat of Haley Lawfer. That ball was <laughs> hammered. I, folks, I cannot over at, underestimate. Man, my gosh, that was a shot. Against St. John's. Tough shot, and it goes! What a finish! College of Idaho back in front. Coach just looking to finish here. Mitchell with a steal. Taking it coast to coast. And the foul. Lexi Mitchell threw some zips and red hot contact. Chief Financial Officer of Blue Cross of Idaho, and President and Board Chair of the Blue Cross of Idaho Foundation for Health. Blue Cross of Idaho is a proud supporter of the College of Idaho, and we are honored to be part of this gala event. We believe wholeheartedly in the school's mission and are proud to be part of both scholarship and internship programs. Like the College of Idaho, Blue Cross of Idaho is dedicated to supporting Idaho students and helping eliminate barriers between them and their education. I want to thank all of you for participating tonight, helping raise money for this worthy cause. Your generosity will help make sure even more students can benefit from the quality education the College of Idaho offers. Like many of you attending this year's gala, I have a personal connection with the College of Idaho. My daughter, Micah, graduated just last year. She completed the first part of the dual degree engineering program and is now attending Columbia University where she will graduate next year with a biomedical engineering degree. Throughout her experience at the College of Idaho, my daughter told me about the teachers who inspired her and pushed, pushed her to challenge herself, which brings me to my Yote heroes, the faculty and teachers of the College of Idaho. These men and women have a huge impact on the lives of students and inspire them to accomplish great things. I especially want to recognize Dr. Devine, Dr. Dole, Dr. Rosoff and Rochelle Johnson. You made a real and lasting impact in my daughter's life. While I don't personally know any of you, I can tell you that you are my Yote heroes because you are my daughter's Yote heroes. Thank you for everything you have done. And thank you to all of the faculty and staff who show up every day, make a difference, and persevere no matter what challenges they are presented with. Blue Cross of Idaho is blessed to count many College of Idaho alumni in our ranks and I'd like to introduce you to one of my colleagues, Laura Arjona, to share her own Yote Heroes. Good evening. I'm Laura Arjona, Director of Group Markets at Blue Cross of Idaho and Board Member Trustee for the College. 
I'm grateful for the partnership between Blue Cross and the College of Idaho. Like C of I, Blue Cross is dedicated to making Idaho even better. As a trustee, I get to see the inner workings of the college and how the leadership, staff, and administration came together to make sure students were able to keep learning in a safe way during this COVID-19 pandemic. The college was able to pivot to a virtual learning environment and still find ways to have students experience college. By working directly with students, they were able to continue ho offering housing for students who didn't have other options. The college avoided much of the fear and confusion that other educational institutions faced because C of I kept communication lines open and were transparent with students. They make it clear that everyone knew that we were all in this together. And for this reason, Brian Bava, VP of Enrollment Management, and Dr. David Douglas, Provost, Dean of Faculty, together with the college leadership co-presidents, Doug and Jim, are my Yote heroes. Thank you for all you do and your continued partnership. Go Yotes! Going to the first, the scholarship gala for the first time, it was like the moment for me where it's like all of these people are involved in making it so that I can get an education, so that the people around me can get an education. And not just an education, but one that's like really impactful to our lives and really sets the stage for what we're going to end up doing for the rest of our lives too. Being able, a lot of times like what you see, you see names and then you see your scholarship and that's, that's what it is, but getting to put a like a name to a face, the appreciation really like comes out there. Um, and then getting to actually meet those people, you know, not just like walk by them or see their name and kind of be like, oh, do I go say hi? I don't know. Like, this is really intimidating. Like, they're literally letting me go to school. You know, they're, they're the ones that are giving me an education. It's kind of scary, but then you do and it's like, you get to have these amazing conversations with people, can have random connections that you never knew. Um, and you build those relationships and then suddenly your scholarship means so much more. And it's more than, than this avenue for you to get your education. It's, it's a relationship and it's someone who cares about you. And it's someone who, um, you know, it's not a number, it's a person. You know, it's a person who wants you to succeed. It's a person who's there if you need them. And it's a person who, without even meeting you, is willing to give you a hand. And that, that's an incredible feeling. Hi Yotes, I'm Larry Flynn. Some of you may recognize me as the auctioneer for the annual in-person scholarship gala. We got lucky last year as we held the gala just before the nationwide quarantine took place. And last year's event was a huge success and with your help this year's virtual gala will be a success as well. All you need to do is get yourself registered at coigala.maxgiving.bid and once you're registered, you can bid on items, buy raffle prize opportunities, and give a donation of any amount. There are plenty of ways to give through the silent or online auction, as well as a couple of live auction items, including a female black lab puppy, which has already been bid on, sold, and donated back, so you can have the chance to give this little sweetheart a new home. Thank you, Winston Moore. We also have a trip or two, and thanks to Gray Wolf, we have a plane to an exciting destination and a raffle as well. And of course, you can participate in the paddle raise by donating at a level you're comfortable with and getting registered and making that donation. Once again, to register for this year's College of Idaho Virtual Scholarship Gala, simply go to coigala.maxgiving.bid. And go Yotes!
Not everyone can be a Rhodes Scholar, become a governor, or win an Oscar. Not everyone can graduate with one major and three minors in four years. Not everyone can attend Idaho's top college for career placement, or has a professor who's still there for you long after graduation. Not everyone thinks about going here, but maybe you're not everyone. Hi everyone, Jeff and Crystal Taylor here. We're looking forward to the first ever virtual gala on March 5th. We have so many great memories at the college. Crystal and I got married there. I graduated in 1982, and I currently have the honor and pleasure of serving as the chair of the board of directors. The students, the faculty, the leadership today are all so fantastic. And the college continues to accomplish so many great things. We look forward to supporting the gala again this year. Our hope is that you will do the same. I promise you it will be a night that you won't forget. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, we look forward to your support. Thank you and go Yotes. D.B. Fitzpatrick, a Boise-based registered asset management firm for more than 35 years, is a proud sponsor. More information can be found online at dbfitzpatrick.com. I'm forever grateful of this place. I mean, never did I think that I would go 25 minutes away from home and feel so far away. And that's, and that's a good thing for sure. Um, it allowed me to grow on my own and I'm grateful for that. But I just want to thank everybody that was along the journey. I mean, I've had two great head coaches and nine great <laughs> assistant coaches throughout my uh, four years. And then all the teachers that I encountered um, I just, I can remember everyone helping me in some sort of way throughout my years and 
And then community is a huge thing here, and I've felt that love since I've been here. And like I mentioned earlier, I feel like I have 20 extra moms and dads, and that's super cool. They've watched me grow up. I, people talk about going from a, from being 14 to 18, now you're an adult, but I feel like those next four years or five years, however long it, you're at college, is really when you start to mature. And um, it took me a while, but <laughs> I'm super grateful that people were patient with me and just gave me the, every opportunity to do right by them. And like I said, I can't thank anybody enough, and it's been a great four years. Just looking at the positive aspect of things is really what the college has allowed me to do. And like I said, I'm grateful for everything that I've learned in these four years here. I'm a citizen of Nigeria, but I'm a permanent resident in South Africa. When the pandemic hit, they locked down. So I could not go to my family because I'm not a citizen of South Africa. I was literally stranded here. There's, there's not much option for me and several of my friends. What do we do? Um, and in that little tiny, like, glimmer of despair, you know, the school says, hey, guys, we'll, we'll take care of you. We'll, we'll take care of you, you know, and, and it's going to cost us. The school usually isn't supposed to be having a bunch of students over the summer. The pandemic is hitting everyone, but the school said, we'll take care of you. They're, they're not obligated. Most other schools did not. There was no hope until a Yod hero came. It, it's cliche. It's like the superhero movie where he comes down and saves you as you're about to drown or whatever and and that's literally what happens <laughs> the beginning of summer was was scary and then it wasn't <laughs> Mitchell, they call him. It's all about the leg strength of Kyle Mitchell. No timeouts. From the right hash mark for the win. Jacob Torres. Good snap. Spot. Kick. If it's got the leg, the kick is good to Kyle Twin. Kyle Mitchell has won it from 58 yards. are undefeated at 6-0 and have a two-game lead in the Frontier Conference. Kyle Mitchell with the dagger, the walk-off, 58-yard field goal, and the Yotes win 16-14. Unbelievable! Ivory Williams with the deflection, it ends up in the head. Oh, Nathan oh. O'Neal oh. off the off the pass. Boy, I hope we get another look at that because it happened so quick, I'm not sure what I saw. 
Holy smoke. I'm not sure Kobe knows what he saw. Nobody got a body on for O'Neal. And nice off jumper the here comes. Kaboom. Boom. Pagan for Quinn. Back to Pagan. And a fitting way to end it. Ashley Pagan with the kill. And the Oats win. The order for College of Idaho, and she pounds that ball high and deep into left field. If it's fair, it's gone. It's gone. A home run off of the bat of Haley Lawfer. That ball was <laughs> hammered. I, folks, I cannot over underestimate. But my gosh, that was a shot. Against St. John's. Tough shot, and it goes. What a finish. College of Idaho back in front. Coach, just look at a finish here. Mitchell with a steal. Taking it coast to coast. And the foul. Lexi Mitchell threw some Simpson Red Hot contact. Hello, I'm Ralph Woodard, Chief Financial Officer of Blue Cross of Idaho and President and Board Chair of the Blue Cross of Idaho Foundation for Health. Blue Cross of Idaho is a proud supporter of the College of Idaho and we are honored to be part of this gala event. We believe wholeheartedly in the school's mission and are proud to be part of both scholarship and internship programs. Like the College of Idaho, Blue Cross of Idaho is dedicated to supporting Idaho students and helping eliminate barriers between them and their education. I want to thank all of you for participating tonight, helping raise money for this worthy cause. Your generosity will help make sure even more students can benefit from the quality education the College of Idaho offers. Like many of you attending this year's gala, I have a personal connection with the College of Idaho. My daughter Micah graduated just last year. She completed the first part of the dual degree engineering program and is now attending Columbia University where she will graduate next year with a biomedical engineering degree. Throughout her experience at the College of Idaho, my daughter told me about the teachers who inspired her and pushed, pushed her to challenge herself, which brings me to my Yote heroes, the faculty and teachers of the College of Idaho. These men and women have a huge impact on the lives of students and inspire them to accomplish great things. I especially want to recognize Dr. Devine, Dr. Dole, Dr. Rosoff and Rochelle Johnson, you made a real and lasting impact in my daughter's life. While I don't personally know any of you, I can tell you that you are my Yote heroes because you are my daughter's Yote heroes. Thank you for everything you have done. And thank you to all of the faculty and staff who show up every day, make a difference, and persevere no matter what challenges they are presented with. Blue Cross of Idaho is blessed to count many College of Idaho alumni in our ranks and I'd like to introduce you to one of my colleagues, Laura Arjona, to share her own Yote Heroes. Good evening. I'm Laura Arjona, Director of Group Markets at Blue Cross of Idaho and Board Member Trustee for the College. 
I'm grateful for the partnership between Blue Cross and the College of Idaho. Like C of I, Blue Cross is dedicated to making Idaho even better. As a trustee, I get to see the inner workings of the college and how the leadership, staff, and administration came together to make sure students were able to keep learning in a safe way during this COVID-19 pandemic. The college was able to pivot to a virtual learning environment and still find ways to have students experience college. By working directly with students, they were able to continue ho offering housing for students who didn't have other options. The college avoided much of the fear and confusion that other educational institutions faced because C of I kept communication lines open and were transparent with students. They make it clear that everyone knew that we were all in this together. And for this reason, Brian Bava, VP of Enrollment Management, and Dr. David Douglas, Provost, Dean of Faculty, together with the college leadership co-presidents, Doug and Jim, are my Yote heroes. Thank you for all you do and your continued partnership. Go Yotes! Going to the first, the scholarship gala for the first time, it was like the moment for me where it's like all of these people are involved in making it so that I can get an education, so that the people around me can get an education. And not just an education, but one that's like really impactful to our lives and really sets the stage for what we're gonna end up doing for the rest of our lives too. Being able, a lot of times like what you see, you see names and then you see your scholarship and that's, that's what it is, but getting to put a, like a name to a face the appreciation really like comes out there um, and then getting to actually meet those people you know not just like walk by them or see their name and kind of be like oh do I go say hi I don't know like this is really intimidating like they're literally letting me go to school you know they're they're the ones that are giving me an education it's kind of scary but then you do and it's like you get to have these amazing conversations with people can have random connections that you never knew um, and you build those relationships and then suddenly your scholarship means so much more. And it's more than, than this avenue for you to get your education. It's, it's a relationship and it's someone who cares about you. And it's someone who, um, you know, it's not a number, it's a person. You know, it's a person who wants you to succeed. It's a person who's there if you need them. And it's a person who, without even meeting you, is willing to give you a hand. And that, that's an incredible feeling. Hi Yotes, I'm Larry Flynn. Some of you may recognize me as the auctioneer for the annual in-person scholarship gala. We got lucky last year as we held the gala just before the nationwide quarantine took place. And last year's event was a huge success. And with your help, this year's virtual gala will be a success as well. All you need to do is get yourself registered at coigala.maxgiving.bid and once you're registered, you can bid on items, buy raffle prize opportunities, and give a donation of any amount. There are plenty of ways to give through the silent or online auction, as well as a couple of live auction items, including a female black lab puppy, which has already been bid on, sold, and donated back, so you can have the chance to give this little sweetheart a new home. Thank you, Winston Moore. We also have a trip or two, and thanks to Gray Wolf, we have a plane to an exciting destination and a raffle as well. And of course, you can participate in the paddle raise by donating at a level you're comfortable with and getting registered and making that donation. Once again, to register for this year's College of Idaho Virtual Scholarship Gala, simply go to coigala.maxgiving.bid. And go Yotes!
to the 2021 College of Idaho Scholarship Gala. We are coming to you live from the upper level of the Cruz and Murray Library on the campus of the college in Caldwell. Cruz and Murray is one of the newest buildings on campus. The shade fins are getting a, a workout with the wind gusts that are going on here right now. So if you hear something like a plane taking off, that's what you're hearing. Behind me, you can see the oldest building on campus, which is Sterry Hall. And we are just thrilled to have you joining us tonight live on the web. My name is Joe Hughes. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications with the college, and I'm happy to be your MC for the evening. And I'd like to thank all of you for taking the effort to join us virtually this year. We have some fun things planned for you this evening. For the best viewing experience, we encourage you to use two devices. Uh, one for viewing and the other for exploring the site, as if you're buying, bidding, or donating. Just click on the live event button on the home page right above the sponsor list to watch the show uninterrupted on your laptop or PC, and then use your phone for bidding. A brief rundown of the night's events. Make sure you're registered for the bidding. Click the register button on the top right corner of your screen. If you see a gray person icon in the corner, you already registered. You can add a credit card for bidding by simply clicking on the person icon and then choosing a payment methods. Our silent auction will be active until the end of the event. You can view all the auction items by clicking the auction tab on the event page. And we have a few raffle items still for sale. The Middle Fork trip, uh, I believe the beer and wine for a year is still available, but several have already sold out. So purchase your tickets now for those. You can view those open raffle items under the raffle item sale tab on the event page. And we have a few live items to bid on that we will feature throughout the night. And then we will conclude with the virtual paddle raise. You can donate any amount at any time throughout the evening by clicking on the donation tab on the event page. No amount is too big or too small. And we thank you in advance for everything that you are going to do tonight. To get things started, we'd like to show you a 30 second video commercial we produced with Stoltz Marketing Group that is currently airing in the Boise market. And just so you know, everything in this video is authentic. Faculty are actual faculty, alumni, actual alumni, and students are our actual students, no actors. The title of this commercial is Yotes Do. Not everyone dreams of changing the world, yearning to seek, explore, and question. Yotes do. Not everyone pushes themselves harder or has the grit to exceed expectations. Yotes do. And not everyone turns more than one passion into a career while making connections across the globe. Yotes do. Not everyone thinks about going here, but maybe you're not everyone. Some of the students you saw in that video you're going to hear from tonight, including the student who did the hand raise to demonstrate the four different aspects of the P curriculum, that's senior Shania Fox, and she's our featured student speaker later tonight. Now, let's hear from our favorite co-presidential duo, Doug Brigham and Jim Everett, as they identify some of their Yote heroes. Good evening. As all of you know by now, our theme tonight is Yote Heroes, and I want to recognize two very special groups tonight, our faculty and our staff. It's hard to believe, but just a year ago, we had our scholarship gala, and two weeks later, we were in the process of sending our students home due to the uncertainty of COVID-19. What happened next? First, our faculty pivoted from 129 years of in-person classes to going to a virtual online education. Our staff began immediately planning for how to deal with having half of our students living on campus in the fall and half studying from home. And finally, we faced about a three and a half million dollar deficit due to increased expenses and lost revenue due to COVID-19. We approached our faculty and staff with the idea of suspending our retiree account match, about a $700,000 a year benefit to our team. Our faculty voted over 90% in favor of supporting that initiative. 90%. Where does that happen? Only at the College of Idaho. For all of those things, thank you to our faculty and staff. You're our Yote heroes. As Doug said, this has been a, a tough year, but it's also been very rewarding. And, and our students have inspired us uh, time and time again. It's been tough on them. They, they, they're not experiencing what they 
expected to experience this year, but they've been supportive of one another. They've, they've worked hard, our retention's up. Uh, they're our best ambassadors. Uh, when we want to talk to a prospective student or, or a donor, no one sells the college better than they do. And none of this happens without you. Uh, this has been a unique year. We've had many, many new needs that we've come to you for, along with existing needs. And every time you've stepped up, you've met that need, and, and we can't tell you thank you often enough. We've been moved to tears often. Well, me, maybe not Doug, but I've been moved to tears. And uh, we're going to have a great night tonight. We're number one in the country in social mobility, and that doesn't happen without friends and donors like you. So thank you. Raise your paddle, bid on items, and uh, we're going to have a great evening. Jim wanted to say go Yotes at the end of that, but I cut him off, so go Yotes for Jim on that. And we, uh, we echo their recognition of our staff, faculty, students, and supporters for being Yote heroes throughout this year. It's been a challenge. Thank you. Before we get started with our program, I'd like to thank our major sponsors of tonight's scholarship gala. As we acknowledge our Yote Hero sponsors, please let us know who your Yote Heroes are in the chat on the event page. And thank you to our sponsors. We could not do this without you. Throughout the evening, you're going to have the pleasure of hearing from some students and alumni who share stories about their Yote heroes and a little bit about what the college means to them. These videos will highlight the focus of this event, our students. We hope to raise more money than ever before to help more students with scholarships. In the video you're about to see, student Callie Thurston tells us about one of her Yote heroes. So my name is Callie Thurston. I am a senior at the college. I am majoring in biomedical science and I have a minor in pre-med and psychology. I would say a clear out here in my mind is um, Dr. Trexa. He was my organic chemistry professor my sophomore year and he really just changed my approach to learning. Um, before this semester I always felt like I needed to be perfect in my education. I needed to have every fact memorized before a test. So then when I got to this upper level organic chemistry class, I was struggling a lot because I just felt there wasn't enough time in the day to know everything. I couldn't memorize everything. So I would go to him almost every day after class and say, saying like, I am studying so much. Why, why am I not happy with my test scores? Why do I feel like I still don't know everything? And he would always just be so reassuring and say, you, you can't know everything, you can't memorize everything. The point of learning and getting an education is learning how to solve problems and to look at the concepts and help learn the concepts and then you can apply them. And I really took that with me and now I'm, you know, I'm going to graduate and I feel like that was, I was, I'm such a better student now because of Dr. Truxa. Callie is an amazing student and a great representation of our, of our student population. So, you know what? It's time to give something away, and I'd like to welcome Jack Cafferty, socially distanced uh, vice president of college relations, <laughs> to, to help draw uh, a winner of the pre-registration ultimate swag basket. Also with us are students Bree McMaster and Josh Anderson. Let's get a winner out of there. Come on, you guys, bring that thing on. Let's see. Uh, what do we got, Josh? What do we got? What do we got? We got. Oh, we're going to kick it off right here tonight, Joe. Let's see. Our winner is Stephen Gwynn. Stephen, 
You have been successfully drawn for the Traeger Grill. No, no, Traeger, Traeger Grill's coming up next. Oh, that, that was geez. that was the swag bag. The swag bag. Yeah, Thank yeah. The, for, the, for, the, for the Jack just wants to give away everything I'm right ready now. I'm going to give it all away so. tonight. <laughs> Thank so you. Joe, Thank let's you, get Bree started. Jeff. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get started. Let's introduce a live auction item. But before we do that, here's how it's going to work in a virtual setting. I trust me, I've answered the phone all week. How is this going to work tonight, Joe? The bidding is open now on the auction page. We will highlight the items throughout the event, all, and all items will close at the same time. Don't worry, we'll give you a countdown before the items close. So, Joe, how would you like to be on your own private plane? Drink in one hand, three of your closest golfers, bu golfing buddies with you, and out on the course. Well, here's your chance. Why don't you introduce us to our first live auction? Oh, event? Jack, I thought you were just giving it to me. No, okay, all right, no, all right. no, no, you got to uh, earn it. You okay, earn it. live auction item number one, the VIP Sun River Golf Experience. Starting bid is $1,000. Bid on the event page is where you can do that. And, and the, the description, enjoy a round trip airfare for four to Sun River, Oregon to enjoy a day of golf on the golf course at Crosswater and lunch at Crosswater Grill. Honored by Golf Digest as one of America's 100 greatest courses, Crosswater was designed by award-winning architect Bob Cup. Fly in style in your own private pressurized Beechcraft Super King Air B200, snacks and drinks included. Sign me up for that, Jack. Wow, a huge thank you to Gray and Brenda Wolf. Thank you both for providing the flight. Marvin, Lori Hinberg, I know you're out there, Yotes for Life. Thank you for securing the Crosswater Fund. And for those who have not witnessed Brenda Wolf's hospitality, trust me when I say, this is your chance, and you will not be disappointed. So who wants to get us started? Yeah, let's let's see if we can uh, get a few names. If Jenny we have a Carrier's in at two thousand dollars. Thank oh, you, Carrier's, that's, that's Jenny good. and Jason. I'll yeah. tell you what, I gave Doug Brigham, co-president, some golf lessons, Joe, mm -hmm. a few years back. Maybe I could throw in a, a, a few little swing shot there to go with it. Would you? Now, now Crosswater has a famous hole. It's the twelfth hole. It's mm -hmm. like um, it can almost seven hundred yards. It can play seven hundred. Two yards. drives for me, Joe. You two know drives. I, to, to me, that's a par ten, uh, <laughs> and so. Yeah, it's, uh, it will challenge you for sure. So thank you, Jenny. Let's get those bids coming on in. Well, let's give you a moment to bid and, and let's move on to another raffle item. Ooh. What was that? What was the thing that you wanted to give away just a moment ago, Jack? Oh, no. So let's pull the winning name for the Traeger Grill. Great. All right. I was ahead of myself there. Thank you to proud alumnus Joe Masart. We appreciate you, Joe. DMB Supply for donating the Traeger. So are these Ooh, are yeah. these uh, are these sufficiently spun, Bree? I, I think so. Yeah, we yeah. spin them back there too. So I think they're all mixed in and good. While you draw, tell me who one of your Yo heroes is. Um, my Yo hero is Gigi Anderson. She's a cheer coach here, and she's just amazing. She's so sweet, and she cares about all of her cheerleaders. So awesome. love you, Gigi. Very good. Thank you, Bree. I love it. I love it. So our winner tonight on the Traeger Grill is somebody we both know. Oh, okay. Don Dieters. Don, Don Dieters. Excellent. Dieters. Don. Don served on the Board of Trustees, I believe, right? Don, enjoy. Proud yes. alumnus. Thank you, Don, and congratulations. You have just won the Traeger Grill. Quick reminder, the silent auction is Thank open you. through the end of the evening. We have some great packages up for grabs. There's a mini faculty engagement items. We have the Tipsy History, Hire the Choir, and how about Megan Dixon's package, Joe? Thank you to Dwayne Stickle. That was awesome for your generous gift. We have a week stay in Prescott, Arizona, dated by our very own Marsha Wing and Greg Garlic. Thank you to them. A high-end toasting basket by Jackson's and Hayden Beverage Company. Thank you, Mark Van Buskirk. I know you're out there, and hey, Shauna Swanson, Justin Keek, one of you just hit the buy it now button and let's get this thing done, yeah, right? Yeah. right? And we had a luxury day on Payette Lake donated by Shane and Jen Sampson. <laughs> Go class of 1997, Joe. You're um, that old? You're yeah. that old? Okay, I know, all right. I know. Make sure you get your bids in. The silent auction closes at the conclusion of the show. Just a reminder, all live items are still up for grabs on the auction page. So, Joe, we're all been cooped up. Mm-hmm. What about the beach? The, oh, is there still a beach? There is still oh, a beach. Oh, man. You I, can bet, go. I bet that's a live auction you item. You could get it's, there. It's live auction item number two. The ocean is calling. 
come out of the pandemic and see the ocean. Surfside, or Surf Sand, sorry, Resort in Cannon Beach. The starting bid is $1,000. And the description, welcome to the Surf Sand Resort, the Oregon Coast premier oceanfront resort in Cannon Beach. Our legendary beach has hosted generations of driftwood forts, sea star sightings, and lantern lit beach walks. With the Pacific at our doorstep and epic views of Haystack Rock, the surf sand makes space for you to unwind and maybe even frolic. From a deep tissue massage to songs around a bonfire, from a sound sleep in a luxurious bed to fresh, delicious local food, we create unforgettable experiences that bring you back year after year. With the $2,000 gift certificate to Surf Sand Resort and a $300 Jackson's card for Ooh. gas and snacks you are taken care of, you then also have the freedom to schedule your vacation whenever works best for you. So let's get those bids going. I'm ready. A huge thanks to Rob and Lynn Miller, proud Yote parents, and Jackson's for this generous donation. So we got, oh, the man after my own heart, Jim Grigsby is bid right now for Tammy to get her to the Oregon coast Excellent. at $2,200. Excellent. Yeah. Way to start that baby yeah. off well. So while, while the bidding war continues, and we'll update as we, we go through, we have a quick weekend update from our own Yoder, Yodinator Rur. We'll explain that in just a minute. Actually, he's the bestest theater professor we know, Joe Golden. So let's go to Joe in the Yote News studio. To you, Joe. From the College of Idaho campus in beautiful Caldwell, Idaho, it's Yoke News Update. Good evening, citizens and fellow Yote heroes, and welcome to Yote News Update. I'm special guest host, Captain Yote Nader Man. Our top story tonight, it's the Scholarship Gala. Yes, hundreds of you are tuning in from around the world, from the comfort of your well-worn couches and computer chairs to help secure the future for your Yote fam. You're out there, unbathed, home isolating, brushing potato chip crumbs off your unlaundered shirts, and getting ready to donate all of your federal stimulus checks during the gala auction. We can't thank you enough. Now we're trying to outdo last year's record-setting auction, where we raised enough money to send Jasper Lacalzi back to Philadelphia. Way to go, Yotes. Now the theme this year is Yote Heroes. Of course, that's why I'm here. Now there are so many Yotes we'd like to celebrate. You'll be hearing some speeches from amazing Yote Hero students tonight, but I'd also like to recognize the college leadership Yote heroes who navigated the USS Yote Tanaka through the stormy waters of the pandemic, only to have us emerge stronger on the other side. Specifically, the leadership of our college president dynamic duo, Doug Brigham and Jim Everett. Now, not to sound ungrateful, but heroes or not, college president dynamic duos cost money and office space. That's why this year's auction hopes to finally raise the funds for the incredible college president two-headed transplant. Now we've been working on this idea for years. Now we can finally clear one office space to make room for the faculty game parlor we were promised. Also in need of recognition is our academic leader, Dean David Douglas who also coaches the college alliteration team. That was for you beautiful English nerds out there. But again, great leaders cost money. But you know what doesn't cost much money? Personal assistant devices. That's why, in addition to raising money with the scholarship gala, C of I plans to save money by replacing 80% of the college's administration with these. All right, you slackers. Time to get some work done. I've been here since 4 a.m. Now I've created 12 new subcommittees and everyone is going to be busy. Hmm. Close your eyes and you can barely tell the difference. Now, on his way out, though, David Douglas has generously offered an extra item for our auction. A landscape painting lecture. 
Welcome back. Got all your materials out, ready to do a fantastic painting with me? Good. Tell you what, though, before we get started, let me take just a moment of your time and talk a little bit about the equipment that we're going to be using today. First of all, the main two brushes that we'll use. Only David Douglas can cram 45 minutes worth of wisdom into a three-hour class. Boy, I'm glad I'm wearing this mask so no one knows who I am. Now, speaking of auction, we've got great items coming your way. A black lab puppy. Oh, Doug Brigham. Is Boone getting a little sister? Private Flight with Gray Wolf. Now, that sounds like an awesome children's book. I think I recall the book cover. Uh, no. No, not that one. Ah, that's the one. Yes. Now, because of insurance reasons, auction winners will have to provide their own flaming swords. And it looks like you'll be flying over Parma. Now, we've got lots to do tonight, so I'll cut this short. Watch for all the exciting auction items. Please bid high and bid often. That's the abbreviated Yote News Update for this special Scholarship Gala Edition. I'm Captain Yote, the Nader Man. Good night, and go Yote! Thank you, Joe, and everyone behind the scenes for that amazing report. No one seems to capture our co-presidents quite like Joe Golden does. Joe, we just hope that they don't decide to split your paycheck in half after that report. I'll, I'll vouch for it. <laughs> Double-headed, uh, yeah, double, yeah. No, so uh, anyway, thank you for very much for that. Holy smokes, this was just in. Shauna Swanson, my new Yode hero tonight, has hit the buy it now button on the champagne. Oh, excellent. Shauna, I'll deliver one cold bottle and we can share it together. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. Thank you so much. Also, I see that uh, we're uh, Jim and Tammy are up to 3,400. Thank you both so much. You got a chance to be going. Get somebody over there. Beth Brigham, I've given you permission to bid on that flight to send Doug away for the day for the golf trip. So get, get that going. Joe, what about this raffle? Well, this next raffle, uh, bef before we get to our live, our, our last live item, which is gonna be a doozy, uh, how about we pick that, that raffle winner? Let's see, uh, this was a very popular item. It was the trip to Mexico, which so sold out in just a flash. So let's draw that. Breeze already grabbed it. Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I got a chance to go. I'm telling you, there's a chance I could go by the by the reading this name. Okay. The winner is Jennifer Sampson. Oh, Jen. <laughs> Woo! I'm available. I am available in case she needs a partner to go. Congratulations, Jen Sampson. The class of '97. Joe, this is so much fun. Let Let's keep it going. Let's draw one more winner for the Beckwith Lodge raffle. And yep. I have to tell you, this is two of my favorite alumni. Bob and Marsha Beckwith, thank you so much. And fellow alumnus Sarah Lundy lived on third floor in Finney and was a superstar for the Finney Fun Run, by the way. I'll tell you that. And Sawtooth okay. Mountain Guides. Thank you all for this Stanley package. Let's see what we got here, Josh. All right. Beckwith Lodge. Woo! Leanne Badiola. <laughs> yeah. Leanne. That's great. Thank you so much to the Badiolas. This is fantastic. You guys are going to Stanley. All right, fantastic. Thank you both. I'm gonna grab this microphone real quick for this next part here because let's get to our third and final live auction item. Live auction item number three. And for that, we need to bring in one of our fantastic students, Jehona, who has with her, with the cutest member of our gala tonight, a black oh, lab puppy. Look oh, look at that. Johanna, you, would you happen to even have a name picked out for this? Um, should we name him Maggie Boone? Mag Maggie, Maggie Boone? Boone? Yes. Ma Margaret? <laughs> after yes. Margaret, Margaret Boone? Oh, <laughs> look at that, yeah. Johanna is, a, is a, one of our great students. You may have heard her on the phone. She, uh, 
She works with the development staff quite often, and you're a fantastic student as well. Up. Just one of our greatest students that we have here. And look at this oh. cute girl. Fully trained, Joe. Yeah. This puppy's fully trained. I guarantee oh, yeah. you, we've got it trained to eat and do its business mm -hmm. every day. We, Joe and I Multiple took times. Multiple times. Multiple we took times, care of that more than already. once. Yeah. Fully trained. We should update the text. It says fully trained black yeah, lab puppy. And we'll, we'll <laughs> dig to the other, to the backyard neighbor's uh, yard as well. <laughs> so um, uh, it was donated by Bob and Jean Bonar. Uh, Joe Mesar and uh, DNB Supply donated the puppy supplies that come along with this as well. This little puppy has had quite the bidding tail to go with her tail. She's got a tail and she's got a, another tail to go along with it to tell. It's, uh, it all started with a generous gift from Winston Moore who then purchased the puppy and then donated the puppy back. And then John and Linda Beckett generously made a gift in memory of Linda's dog, Hattie, and then donated the precious dog back. So we were off to a great start. Then our board chair, Jeff Taylor, and his wife, Crystal, made a generous gift and donated the puppy back again. And then former board chair Jim Grigsby and his wife, Tammy, made a generous gift of $10,000 and donated the puppy back. So I'm getting a sense that, so in total, the puppy has already raised over $50,000 for scholarships, and now we are looking for her permanent home. All right? You've got to be able to help us out here with this. Come on. We need some help here. We can generate some more bids. We, we give you all an opportunity, because we're virtual, to just jump on there. It's like clicking a button. It's real easy. You just hit it right there, and we'll get your bid in. Love to have your support. So let's see, where are we at right now? It looks like we're still at $2,000 on the flight. We need some help on that flight. Somebody please help us out. Jump in there and bid. And it looks like we're still sitting with the Grigsby's at the high bid for the Surf Sand Resort. So jump in there and, and we, we could use your help. We need some more bids on this live auction. We give you all the opportunity to bid all night long. Jump in and help us out. Yep, and those will be uh, finishing up, the live auction portions will be finishing up uh, shortly. We'll give you a countdown before they do. Uh, but let's give you a little bit more time to bid as we watch a message from an alum who has been helping our students conduct research about the pandemic. Dr. Carolyn Buxton Bridges, who tells us about her Yote Hero. So my name is Carolyn Bridges and um, I graduated from College of Idaho in 1987 and my major was zoology and uh, I am a retired public health physician. I retired from the Centers for Disease Control. My number one note hero is uh, Sherry Robeson who was my biology professor and um, she really inspired a lot of people. I found out so many years later, a lot of years later actually, about how many other female students she encouraged to go to medical school. And it really, I, I would not even have considered it if it wasn't for her. So, so she's number one, uh, for sure, because what she did by encouraging me was set my entire life path. One item that is great about these Yote Hero stories is seeing those who benefited from Yote Heroes, like Carolyn, becoming Yote Heroes for others. So it just continues down the line, and that is just an, an amazing pattern. Thank you to Carolyn for all she has done and continues to do to support the college. Jack, what do we got going on on the auction items well, here? Well, uh, Daryl Carney has an opportunity right now to jump in and beat out Jim and Tammy Grigsby. Uh, Margaret, give him full permission to just jump on there, do a buy it now, and let's get this thing done. And we need some help on the flight, too. Beth Brigham, I'm looking at you. Can you see me? I'm, I'm Beth. I'm giving you permission right now to jump in and make this happen. Let's see what else we got. Whoa, hang on, Joe, take a look at this. Holy cow, do you see this on the screen? Oh, I do. We have our, a our screen, we, we can see it. We, we have a $10,000 bidder that hit buy it now to take the puppy home tonight. Oh, wow, so sweet. Holy oh, smokes. Top, top bid. The winning bidder is the Miller family, and it says, we are buying this puppy for Kate Sampson. Have fun with it, Nana and Pop Pop. Excellent. Wow. That's great. Kate, Jen, and Shane, you guys better start picking out some names, <laughs> and we'll get her over to you later tonight.
Congratulations. Make some room. Not to worry. Joe and I took care of the training. This should be really easy. Yeah. And, and, and in fact, we even have a name suggestion. Maggie <laughs> That's Boone. That's right. Maggie That's Boone right. might even, uh, but it, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, she will, she will eat and, and poop daily. 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 Right, we right, will right, right, guarantee. Right, right, right. Yep. So the time has come to, uh, well, we're getting ready. If, if you want to bid on one of those live auction items, you have just no. seconds now because we are getting ready to do a 10 second countdown. So as you are seeing this and you've been kind of on the fence, let's make your choice now with Push your highest bid that you want to get in there and then we will tabulate and, and let you know uh, who, who are the winners are. But we have a 10 second countdown that is ready to go. So if we can bring that up, we will count this. This will end the live auction. The silent auction still goes on to the end of the show, but this is going to end the live auction items since we just had the puppy finish up. So should we? Should, I mean, should we give Daryl another chance and Beth Brigham just one more chance right before we count it down? You I, guys can do it now. You can make a difference right now in a student's life. Sure. Click the button. But it's, you're right. It's running out of time. Is what it's we're run, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Running yeah, out of time. Down. Yeah, right, right. Yes. So. Okay. Ready? Uh, have we given them enough time? Because we got t a 10 second countdown. I don't know. Joe, tell me. We're talking Yotes heroes. Tell me. Who's your Yote hero? Oh, so we're going to give them time by telling stories? All right. My Yote heroes, uh, if I were to, uh, well, Michael Vanderveld, who hired me, brought me to the college more than a decade ago. But if right now I would choose Jim Fennell, who yeah. was a, a, a PE instructor, uh, one of the first people I met here. But what I loved about Jim, just besides the fact he was just so genuine and nice, was when I worked in development, and you know this, that uh, Jim would get on the phone and call some of his former students who may not have heard from him for a decade. Right. And they would say, like, he would just say, Jack. And they'd go, Fennel, how you doing? You know, that, that just, to me, that just was such a great example of, of the bond and the mentorship oh, that yeah. goes on here between so many facts, but I just got to see it firsthand. Yeah. So Jim Fennel, you're my Yodi hero. Oh, Jack, what, how about you? You've got to have a Yodi hero. Multiple oh, ones. I got a couple, but you know, it, I have to think back to the beginning and, and it, it, it really, honestly, for me, Joe, was uh, Dr. Dick Roberge. He gave a young redheaded kid who didn't know much, a chance to come to the College of Idaho through a scholarship that he and his wife, Roe, generously provided. And then he was relentless, stayed with me and said, you got to be back at the college making a difference. And I got the pleasure of working with him as a trustee member back here. So Excellent. Dick, that's Robert, you're my yo hero. That's Thank awesome. you so much. That's so, great. great. Hey, uh, what do you think about this live auction? Well, I think we gotta, we've, we've got we've got we're on a we're on a timetable. We got we got to hit the ten all second right, mark. All right, all so, right, here we go. So Let's yeah, so do we have the ten second countdown? I mean, we we got to do this official and everything. We're gonna bring this up. All right, yep. here go. we go. Here's ten, ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. It's, it's official. Like, it it's like official. That, that. All right. All right. So, so help us out here with our winners for the live auction items. We already had the. We already had the puppy go. We had the puppy go. So, so we're trying. Thank to, you to the Miller family, by the way, for the puppy. That's fantastic. What about Sun River? Who's it, who's at Sun River? Jenny Carrier at twenty four hundred. Jenny and Jason. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And let's see surf for sand. Surf Sand. Surf Sand. Ah, Tammy, you're going to the Oregon Coast. <laughs> Jim and Tammy Grigsby, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. That was awesome. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, please stay with us as we have an exciting announcement at the end of tonight's event. Mm -hmm. As we said earlier, our sponsors helped make tonight possible. We couldn't do it without them. Huge thanks to Brandon Fitzpatrick. Brandon, you are amazing. <laughs> and D.B. Fitzpatrick for being our presenting sponsor. Mm -hmm. Thanks as well to Charlene, Ralph, Laura, and the whole team at Blue Cross of Idaho. Jill Tweet, I know you're out there. Thank you to you and Boise Cascade. I also want to send a shout out out to Andy Erstad, yeah. our very own alumnus and Erstad architects. Thank you, Andy. Mm -hmm. And we can't forget our friends at Albertsons. Thank you so much for all you do for our students.
And there's lots more sponsors, Joe. And I know we're on a timeline. And Deidre, for those of you who know, she's keeping us on track tonight, as yes. you know. Yes. Um, and uh, but thank you to all the sponsors. We really appreciate it. So absolutely, thank you. it makes all the difference in the world for for this event and for our students. So now I'd like to shift gears a little bit and introduce tonight's student speaker. Shania Fox is a graduate of Capitol High School in Boise, and you earlier saw her raising her hand in our video commercial that is currently airing in the Boise Valley. Well, when she finishes here, she plans to earn a MD, PhD. You heard that right, MD, PhD, medical doctor and her PhD. The college was barely on her radar when she was in high school, but the scholarships that you provide brought this amazing young person to the college. I'm Shania Fox, I'm a senior this year. Um, I'm majoring in biomedical sciences and psychology and minoring in pre-medicine and criminal justice studies. I applied probably to like 10 or 12 schools out of state. I was kind of convinced that I wanted to leave the state because I wanted to leave the state. And then I applied here and then one large state school in Idaho. I got accepted into a state school um, and through the National Merit Scholarship, I would have had a full ride, room and board, and then some um, going there. Then I came to the college um, and for like an admitted student day. Um, I had never set foot on the campus before. I was like, there's no way I'm going somewhere that's 30 minutes from home. I went in with a bit of, you know, like my teenage attitude I think I had at the time. So I, I go to admitted student day. Um, I was there watching students interact with their professors and professors, it was unheard of for me to get to like meet people during the admitted student day at any other college to actually get to talk to them and figure out what they're, you know, teaching and how, you know, I might interact with them if I came to the college. Um, and it was one of those feelings that like people describe, but I didn't get it until now where it was like I felt like it was home. And I walked on campus and you know, I got to go to the president's house and it was like, I like these people and I think I can like be with them for four years, be here for four years and be able to grow along with everyone else. And I felt like, you know, it's, it's a pretty simple idea, but it, it's like, it's pretty important is I felt wanted, you know, I felt wanted by the school and I wanted them in my life. So kind of having that relationship right off the bat, you know, day one, I put my deposit in that day. Um, so that was like April of my senior year. Um, I had prom that day <laughs> and I went home and I, I was like getting my deposit ready before getting ready for prom. So <laughs> I just remember that day really clearly. <laughs> So had it not been for that financial aid package, it always would have remained in the back of my mind. It always would have been like, oh, I'm not even considering going there because, you know, why spend that much money to be so close to home when at the time I didn't have a good concept of what it would mean to go to a small liberal arts school versus a large state school. So to me, that wasn't forefront and the cost was more forefront. I still remember opening that scholarship package and being like, wow, <laughs> you know, that's incredible that's when I actually started looking into the college. That's when I started to realize what it meant to be a small liberal arts school. That's when I came to admit it's student day and actually like gave it a thought and you know made my decision. So yeah, the scholarships made it possible for me to even consider coming here. Um, otherwise I, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> looking back, I the things that I loved here are all things that I could not have gotten at a large state school. I like that every professor knows me by name. I like that I could walk into their office hours and talk about um, what I made for dinner last week, you know? Like these four years have been the most powerful experience of my life. It's been the gem of my life. It's crazy to think that like this place existed to me, you know, that I didn't know it existed and it became my personal little hidden gem. Shania reminds us why we're all here tonight. Over 90% of our students receive scholarships that get them here. We could not do that without your support. Thank you for that and getting students like Shania to come to the College of Idaho. Thanks, Joe. I just heard thank you. Shout out to Kyle Sales. Just uh, bought an uh, item for us. Thank you so much. I believe it was the McCall package. Excellent. Yeah, thank Enjoy you so that. much. If you missed out on some auction items, it's okay. There's still an opportunity to donate tonight for the students that you've been hearing about. You can donate to our virtual paddle raise. You can participate by clicking on the donation tab on the event page. As we said earlier, no amount is too big and no, no amount is too small. It takes a team, it takes a village as they like to say. 
And please know how much we appreciate the support, the support and what it does for our students. As Joe mentioned, they wouldn't be here tonight. I wouldn't have been here as a student tonight without a scholarship donor. <laughs> tonight we're starting the paddle raise at $25,000. Former trustee Gray Wolf has a quick video message to get this level started out. Uh, I'm making a $25,000 donation to scholarships for the College of Idaho uh, as a result of my Yod hero, which was my father, Dwayne, who went to college there, and uh, the city of Caldwell. The college has meant a lot to me and my family, and so my wife Brenda and I and our whole family are very, very happy to give back to uh, the college and fund a scholarship for twenty-five grand uh, to help students enjoy the life and the career that they get out of a good education at the C of I. So with that, we're happy to support it. Thank you, Gray and Brenda. I mean it. Uh, great friends of the college. We so appreciate your generous donation. And for all your support over the many years, we've got a wonderful baseball stadium, as you know, Joe, called Wolf Field. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you both so much. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, before I mention this, a quick little fact here for you. I've been looking in the chat, seeing a bunch of the, uh, the other Yod heroes mentioned. Dr. Robert just brought up. Gigi, Jim Fennell, uh, Sherry Robeson. I mean, it's, it's awesome to see so many other. You just bring up a name, and, and you've got another dozen people that go, yeah, that's one of my Yod heroes as well. So I just, it's, this campus and this community is just full of Yod heroes. And thank you for being one tonight. Here's an interesting fact, though. On average, a Yote freshman is awarded $21,000 in scholarships. That really helps bridge that difference and, and makes the college more accessible. One of our current trustees, Mas Kuwana, who I saw bidding earlier on oh, yeah. quite a few items, he has another brief video to mention how his Yote heroes helped him. A few alumni uh, have, were really quite impactful on me and my career. Um, the first that comes to mind is uh, David Miller, who I met as a student at the college. David uh, met with me at his house and uh, we had a great conversation about his, his childhood in the Satus, um, his uh, academic career at the college, and then his uh, career in um, just called foreign policy uh, and government. The other one that comes to mind is Chet Wood. Um, I was uh, a graduate of the college, attending law school at the University of Idaho, and uh, was seeking guidance. Um, and I remember connecting with his secretary and left the voicemail as to what I was interested in and, and my background. And it wasn't 15 minutes later that he called me out as I was driving to evidence. I'm so thankful that uh, both of them took the time to meet with me only because of our connections at the college. Thank you, Mass. One of the old heroes uh, Mass mentioned was Chet and Debbie Wood, mm -hmm. who have also pledged $25,000 tonight. That's Thank you awesome. both. Chet kindly shared a few thoughts with me, Joe, about why he chose to give to the college. Mm -hmm. Chet said, Jack, you know, Debbie and I give to the scholarship fund because of the impact the college continues to make on so many lives. We too benefited from the generosity of donors who funded scholarships while we were attending the college, so we know firsthand what giving means. We remain grateful to the many faculty, coaches, staff, and Yod heroes that instilled in us the drive to stay curious mm -hmm. and keep learning, and of course, the many lifelong relationships we have made. Thank you, College of Idaho, for making a positive difference for us all. And Chet and Debbie, I know you're watching tonight. You're there with uh, uh, Jeff and Crystal. Crystal right? yeah. And we can't thank you enough for all you do. And I might just mention that Chet and Debbie also have a scholarship here at the college and continue to give to that as well. So thank you from the bottom of our house. Joe, I also got a lovely call tonight or today from Bobby Hansberger. And she told me that she was so moved by the stories that we've been telling and the faculty and student relationships, and the simple mm -hmm. fact that our students recognize their faculty members and look up to them. They have a relationship, look up to them as mentors. Mm -hmm. So Bobby said, Jack, I want to help out. I, too, am going to do $25,000 tonight. <laughs> That's awesome. Which is there incredible. And, great. you know, uh, you know, we are so grateful here at the college to have so many donors at, at, at such significant levels. Um, thank you all so much.
Fantastic. That's, uh, thank you, Bobby. I got to meet her just for, just recently, and we've got some something coming up with her in a little bit yeah, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> so how about we go on down in the paddle up to ten thousand okay. dollars? Let's go to the ten thousand dollar level, and it looks here like uh, Doug and Skip Oppenheimer. Oh, Thinking another dynamic another duo. Another dynamic duo. <laughs> thank you, Doug and Skip, so much. Uh, we really appreciate your generosity. And Doug, I'm hoping that bottle of scotch is not gone by this point in the program, okay? <laughs> Mary, keep an eye on him for me, okay? The next one, uh, yeah. Jim and Linda Everett. Jim, thank you so much for all you do. And Linda, thank you for supporting Jim and all he does yeah. here. Uh, Larry Cope, uh, alumnus and former trustee member. Absolutely. Larry, fantastic. thank you so much. That means a lot to us to have your support. Uh, Fred Thompson, Joe, I got a chance to meet Fred Thompson recently. Fred uh, also has made a $10,000 gift tonight in honor of his yacht hero, our very own Dean Buffington, oh, yeah. who we recently lost. And uh, Dean, we all miss you. We and sure uh, Fred, thank you so much for that. It means a lot. Mm -hmm. Alan Dykeman is in tonight, that's too. Fun, that's 10, great. This yeah. is an awesome level here. This is sweet. Yeah, yeah. We're keeping <laughs> the momentum going. Look at that. We're over 400,000. Look, we're in... We're, oh, it's within oh, arm's reach now. Sure We're knocking is. it down. Um, and then also at this level, we have at 10,000, we have Shay Dahl, <laughs> class of 2002. Shay and her husband, Buddy, are making a $10,000 gift in honor of Mike Shines. Oh, excellent. And all the other wonderful mentors that Shay had during her time at the college. And Shay specifically <laughs> says she's reaching out to all her classmates to join her and Buddy mm -hmm. and making a gift here tonight. Thank you guys so much. It is, this is awesome. I remember a time when we didn't even have $10,000 at the scholarship <laughs> gala for a battle up. So thank you so that much. That is amazing. I just can't continue. Look, 458 is what we're oh seeing. Oh my goodness. On the yeah. We're seeing <laughs> we so, are narrowing in. Thank you in. for bringing those in. 10,000 was an awesome level yeah. there on the, on the <laughs> yeah. paddle raise. And we're, thank you. We're, we're on our way. Let's <sighs> blow it out of the park. Well, the next level that we'd like to hit would be half of the 10. Let's, get, let's hit that $5,000 Five. Okay. level now let's and, see, let's and see if, if that's an area that you're comfortable making a gift. Please do and know just how important it is for the, the students here at the college. George and Bev Herod, thank you both very much. We really appreciate Excellent. it. They're in at 5,000. John you. Jackson, John, thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, Rob and Lynn Miller, <laughs> yeah. proud Yod parents. <laughs> thank you so much, Rob and Lynn, and for the size, or live auction item. Yes. We appreciate it. Nancy Miller, down in San Diego. Thank you so much, Nancy. Uh, Jim and Kathy Mertz, oh, thank you so much. I yeah, uh, hope Jim. you guys are tuning in. Oh, and this one puts a smile. Mary Abercrombie. Uh, Mary, you are a princess. Thank you so much for all you do for the college and for our students. Uh, this is fantastic. Yeah, last and I, I, can you see all these names, Joe, that are coming yeah. in? We are, we are just getting flashed names like yes. crazy that are coming in at all just different levels. Just on the scroll, yes. Um, thank, you, thank you all so much. So let's, let's go down to $3,000 now okay. for the paddle up. All right. So anybody interested at the $3,000 level? Oh, Joe, look. Oh, look how close we're getting. 493,000. We're, we're in a stone's throw. Help us out here. <laughs> Help awesome. us out. Let's see who, who we got. We got on there. Steve and Holly Turney are in a $5,000. Oh, yeah. Steve, thank you so much. ZGA Architects, thank you so much, Steve. Um, let's see here. Rick and, Rick Lisa, and Lisa Ogle. Ogle. <laughs> at 5000 Daryl and Darryl Margaret. Carney. Thank you, Margaret, for giving him permission. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mike Shines. Oh, and Donna, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, Jesse, oh, what? I, I, I just, <laughs> just got kicked out. Just Jesse Harris, I saw your name on there. I owe you, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, let's see here. Who else is coming up on our screen? Um, we see uh, Laura Arjona and Alex. Thank you, Laura. You were fantastic on the video tonight. Thank you so much. Pam, mm -hmm. Pam DeCoste, thank you so much. She's in Florida. It's probably 92 degrees in yeah. Florida tonight. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, Ben Moore, thank you so much. Marsha and Greg, 2000, thank you so much. So, so, so let's, uh, let's head down to the next level um, of the, the 1891, 1891 Society. People okay. are always asking us, who, who don't know the college, what's why 1891 right. yeah. Society? Yeah. It's when, when the college was founded. Yeah. Uh, so that's our level, 1891. Uh, I've seen some that are coming. In fact, there's one right there with Brian Farnsworth. Yep. That, Brian, uh, is Brian in Denver. Thank you so much, Brian. That's yeah. awesome. Um, 
I think I also saw uh, the carriers in there too. Oh yes, uh -huh. eighteen ninety one. So. We scroll. There we go. Um, we scroll up. Uh, eighteen ninety one. Thank you so much, uh, uh, ZGA Admire. Architects. That was Steve Turney. Um, go ahead and eighteen ninety one. There, Admar. Scroll, scrolls up Let's there. See so here. we can see the, yeah. the names there. Keep, keep going, going. Keep going. There. there we go. Oh, Bob and Elaine Carpenter. Yes. Oh, the Carpenters. Thank you so much, Bob and Elaine. We really appreciate it. Uh, Ron and Mary Thomas, uh, Ron's graciously serving on the Board of Trustees. Thank you so much. Paul and Becky Rowan, shout out to them. Thank you so much. Uh, proud alumni, appreciate all your support at 1891. I feel like we're missing some here, Joe. There's got to be some more coming through on the screen. Yeah, we're trying and, to update the names as quickly as we can as they are coming in. So thank you for, for doing so. Uh, if, if, you don't even, if you don't hear your name mentioned, we still appreciate it. You saw Marvin Laurie Hamburg. Marvin Laurie Hamburg. There he is. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, Andrew Madison just came in. He's in the United Arab Emirates tonight, logged in. Beth and Doug Brigham. Thank you, Beth, at $5,000. <laughs> yes. Oh, Beth. I owe you, Beth. Thank you so much. Oh, and class of 97. Class, class of 97. 97. Jen Sampson, $5,000. She was feeling guilty about the Hawaii. All right, there. She just bought me off, so I'm not going to Hawaii, Joe. I guarantee you that's what it was. Oh, that is fantastic. Thank you so much. Look, we're at 503,000. Oh, wow. Let's keep this going. You think we could hit five and a quarter? Oh, 518. Oh, we are rolling. This is, oh, this wow. is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is okay, candy Dale at 1891. Candy. On our oh, board of candy trustees. And Jim, thank you so much. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Uh, let's go to the, so we move it to the thousand? Let's go to a thousand. Let's go to a thousand dollars. Thousand dollar level. Yep, okay. Thousand dollar level. We've seen some of those names come by our earlier oh, today. Oh, Shauna $1, Swanson. Yes. Shauna, thank you so much. And I know you've got a match for us, Shauna at Disney. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. and uh, I can't wait to drink some of those bubblies with you, Shauna. <laughs> yeah, 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 she came through with Evelyn that, too. Evelyn Cates, Joe. Evelyn Cates is in for 1000 tonight as well. And uh, John and uh, Jeanette o Olery mm -hmm. are in. And our very dollars. own Brian and Amy Baba. Thank you so much at 1000 Oh, Mike Shines. Or, excuse me, no, is it Mike Shines? Oh. oh no, Mike Stevenson. If it's Caldwell Transportation. No, Mike Shines. Oh no, Mike in. Shines. Oh yeah. Mike Shines is in, and Caldwell Transportation oh, excellent. as well. Oh, gotcha. Thumbs up. Because yeah. I saw Mike Stevenson had come through yeah. with a gift for, from Caldwell Transportation as well. That so thank you, good. both both Mikes, double Mikes. Wow, we're at five twenty eight eighty seven. Joe. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow, fantastic. Um, let's go on down to five hundred. Okay, let's okay do five hundred. Yep. Um, I see some names here. Um, Alice Hennessy. Oh, oh Alice, Alice, thank you for the support. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Brent and Sean Harrison, yeah. thank you, thank you. Oh, favorite, uh, Billy Farley, <laughs> golly, amazing alumnus, volunteers in the museum here. Thank you, shout out to Billy. Um, let's see, um, Julie Van Buskirk. Oh, Julie and Mark, thank you so much, Julie. Really appreciate it. Mark, you're a yote hero for all you've done for us <laughs> yes. tonight. Yes. Um, let's see, we got Dennis and Vicki Gribble and family oh, yeah. at $1,000. Yeah, their daughters have come through here. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's Great see, parents. who else do you see? Oh, Barry Fugition. Barry, thank you so much. What a, oh, he's amazing. Um, let's see, Frank Hill, an alumnus that we know um, mm -hmm. over in Vancouver. And uh, let's see, oh, oh friends of yours. Jackie and Ty <laughs> Porter, go yes, Yotes, yeah. right? I love it. Jackie, class of 97, see that? That's there was something special, that's Joe, about in 97, really? I'm yeah, telling you. Yeah, they made sure that you weren't class yeah. president. They were a smart <laughs> class. That's a story for another day. <laughs> How about uh, Becky Yamamoto Hansen? Thank you, Becky. Really appreciate it, your gift as well. And let's see, let's, uh, should we move down to let's, 200? Let's go, yeah, 250. 250. Let's go 250. Okay, let's go to 250. Oh, oh, Joe, did you see that? Oh, that's, oh, yes. Oh. Another one, our former board chair. Former board chair just came in to surprise us. Air hugs to <laughs> Laura Turner. Laura, thank you Thanks, so Laura. much. And Russ, Wow, five thousand dollars level. Paddle Thank up. you. Thank you both so much. This is that's incredible. Um, awesome. So let's get through. We let's got. Through I some see some two fifty ones. Yeah, coming in. Um, someone and, someone uh, donated five hundred for Boone Brigham. Boone Brigham <laughs> donated five hundred dollars. Wow. wow, Boone's rolling over there. Boone, 
Somebody <laughs> needs to get his paw hitting on that a little more, right? Uh, I love it. So at 250, I see Susan Gibson. Thank you, Gibsons. We really appreciate it. I see Jill Turner at 250. Uh, Patricia uh, Matthews. Diana Drawn. Actually, and, Diana Drawn just made that 18, Oh, Diana, 1891. Oh, thank you, Diana, so much. Oh, love you to death. Uh, let's see, Dave and Valerie Ward. Um, let's see, Bob, Bob Madden, Madden, Bob and Vicky. Thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. All right, okay, let's, we're, we're getting, we're getting the, we got to move it along. Hey, look, we'll leave this open for a little bit longer. Well, let's, right, get, let's get to the hundred one. Let's, okay, let's, let's do read, some hundred. Let's just okay. quickly re okay. read through yeah, the, we got the hundred dollar ones go. here. Let's go. Yep. Marilyn Devaney, thank you so much at 100. Uh, Jean Swanson, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Awesome, thank Melanie you. Grayson, Pepsi, thank you so much, Melanie. Yeah. Juanita Pearson, mm -hmm. uh, Kim Steins, you, and Jeff Marshall. Mm -hmm. uh, Fry family, thank you so much. And let's go to 50 real quick. Um, down on down. Let's see, uh, Chris, Chris Lay. Lay, I see yeah. Chris there. Thank you so much, Chris. Um, who else? Um, well, this, is, this has been amazing. Look uh, at that total we have here going, total. Jack. 532. Woo! Wow, that's hey, amazing. Joe, as my, that's good a friend, cowbell. as my good friend Dan Harrington says, everybody needs more cowbell, more cowbell. in their life. Yeah. Yeah. That's All a 532,000 right. shake right All there. Right. So thank you. Wow. We, we are blown away yeah. tonight with your support. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, as I started to say, we'll leave the donation page open mm -hmm. through the weekend. So please share the link with your friends and family, and we'll continue to uh, um, count donations towards uh, towards the gala. I'm looking at a number of 533. I can't even believe it, Joe. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. So we will draw the middle fork and the beer and wine for a year raffle winner shortly. But first, we have a very special announcement that we felt this audience would appreciate yes. the most. Yeah, yeah. we, we, we kind of hinted at it earlier. The college... Uh, has received an incredibly generous gift to establish its first ever endowed professorship. The family of former College of Idaho board member Clara Hansberger has given the college $1.25 million to endow the Clara K. Hansberger Endowed Professorship at the College of Idaho. Clara is 99 years old wow. and, 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 and gets to celebrate this. Please view this short video that describes what the college and education have meant to Clara Hansberger and her family. We were delighted to set up a, an endowed professorship for our mom at the College of Idaho. She has always had a lifetime interest in education. The Clara K. Hansberger Endowed Professorship really does reflect her, her deep um, and sincere uh, belief in, in the importance of education. I think that my mom is a wonderful example of continuing education. I think that its importance has continued to grow to her. Mom was invited to be a trustee at the College of Idaho in um, 1979. It was a six-year term. She was serving as chairman of the board at a time when the college had really fallen on hard times financially. They were on the verge of being sold to Japanese investors. Just about ready to sign the papers, Clara, the chairman, called a timeout. And she said to her fellow board members in a quick huddle, we can't do this. We cannot sell the college. It's too important to Idaho. They didn't, the college survived, and today it's thriving. And she considers her involvement in retaining the College of Idaho to be probably the most important thing she ever did. Well, she is very honored that um, we're setting up the endowed professorship. But the whole idea of this college at this time with this professor and my family is just a serendipitous coming together of things that I really think should be acknowledged. You've come a long way, we've all come a long way, we've been through a lot, she's seen so much. She will be so honored by having this. As I think of the two things that are really passions for her education in the College of Idaho. I can think of no better tribute to Clara than this endowed professorship 
here at the college. Thank you, Clara, for all you have done and congratulations on this well-deserved honor. What an incredible gift to the college. Wow. We would, yeah, that's just amazing. We are so thankful. We would also like to share the news of the first recipient of this endowed professorship. And congratulations to history professor Mie Kim, the first recipient of the Clara K. Hansberger Endowed Professorship, a well-deserved honor. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Mie, Mie, I can't think of anybody more deserving. That's awesome. Hey, before we get to this, Joe. Which is, which is great. Which is great. I am ringing cowbell up a storm because Paul and Peggy Street are in for $20,000 uh, tonight. Wow. Thank you, Paul and Peggy. Nice. Thank Not you. only did he do that, but he bid now. He bought a huge dinner, and he's going fly fishing with Rick Williams. Paul and Peggy, <laughs> wow. thank you so much. Awesome. Also, got to tell you, at $5,000, our very own Trisha Bauer. Oh. and uh, Phil Rogers. Thank you guys both so much for that $5,000 gift. Mike really. and Linda Danielson as well. Oh, Mike and Linda Danielson. Yeah, yeah, thank you so That's much. Awesome. We could keep going, yes. but you know Joe what? I think it's time that we shift gears a little bit here. Yep. What do you think? Yep, we need to do a raffle. Let's the pick the two. winners for the last two raffles, yes. all right? Yep. Let's do that. Yep. Let's see who the winner is for the week-long Middle Fork mm. trip. Oh, a yeah. very big thank you to Grant Porter, Grant and Kim Porter from Middle Fork Rapid Transit for continuing their support. Grant, fellow alumnus, Beta Chi member, thank you so much. All right. Laura Thompson. Laura, Laura Thompson, Thompson, you are <clears throat> going down the Middle Fork of the Salmon River <laughs> with the Porter crew and Middle Fork Rapid Transit. I've been there. This is an awesome trip. You are going to have a blast. Okay. Laura All Thompson. right. Let's, uh, last but certainly not least, nope. let's see who the winner of the beer and wine for you. I mean, oh. Joe and I could each just use, by the way, a case of beer. All right. Just, just, just shell we'll off. We'll deliver one, it. Then you just kind of. One, one. Thank you, Jackson. Thank you to Jackson yes. and Craig Stein Beverage. Yes. Thank you. Special thank you to Mark Van Buskirk for making this donation Absolutely. happen. Absolutely. Mark, you are a Yote hero, <laughs> and there's somebody for a year that's going to be saying that you are a Yote hero. What do you got, Josh? Maria Kirkpatrick is the winner <laughs> of Kirkpatrick. Uh, the uh, beer and wine, beer and for, wine a year. for a year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so Thank much. You Thank, Thank you, students. Thank you for students. all the people who chose to, to, to participate in the raffle. That's outstanding. Wow. And, uh, and as you mentioned, Jack, the, the, we will continue to, to accept the donations uh, for the paddle raise throughout the weekend yeah. as well. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we just want to thank you for your generosity during tonight's auction. Uh, we want to thank you for tuning in virtually. Your gifts ensure that, that the College of Idaho will remain an inclusive community of exceptional learning that challenges the ambitious and forges pathways to success and purpose. And we would especially like to recognize our external gala planning committee for oh, this night. Yes. Uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, the, the names that are on there. We've got Tricia Bauer, Beth Brigham, Jenny Carrier, Marilyn Devaney, and Jen Sampson. So a big thank, thank you, you for all. Them. They put in so much time. Joe. Yes, they were yes. A huge thank you to them. And a thank and thank you to our staff who helped with this uh, event. Thank you for your hard work and the countless hours that go into this. And some of those. Oh, you, well, you see one standing next to me is Jack Cafferty, uh, Deidre Fridley, the director of external relations and events. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Alan Price, number two. Uh, the class of 2010, Associate Director of IT, and Colin Walker, future class of 22, our event specialist. Thank you for the amazing work putting this together, which is completely different than anything we've ever done before. Absolutely. So don't forget to join us for a special after party that we have coming up. The, if we can bring up the slide. It's, oh, it, it, did you see that? Scott and Diana Herter are in for $5,000 oh, tonight. See, it Thank just, it just so keeps much. happening. The they're mojo. They're coming from Mexico. I know they're bidding from Mexico. Thank you guys so much. We're going to keep it going. 
Um, look at that total, $540,000 right it's now. It's almost 541. It's almost just a few dollars short of 541. Uh, so thank you all so much. Good night. Here is the here is the, the the after party. So use the QR code to join the after party. Also, the silent auction items are ending since we are finishing the program. Just want to mention that as well. And uh, we just want to say good night to everybody. Thank you for joining us virtually this year. And of course, go Yotes. Go Yotes. Thank you all.